hello, hello. I'm so glad you decided to join us today. Well, it's kind of raining outside. I've heard a little bit of thunder, lots of rain. We need it, so kind of a good thing. But something else exciting is happening this week for some of you. Are some of you getting ready to start school? Yeah, or have some of you maybe already started? Well, I've got a couple books today about school and one just for fun. I hope you like them and enjoy them. Llama Llama Back to School. I love Llama Llama. How many of you love Llama Llama? Awesome. Well, let's learn about Llama going back to school. This says summer's here with all its fun. Llama hopes it's never done. Fishing, hiking, slip and slide, backyard camping, picnic time. Did any of those events sound like something you did this summer too? I bet we had lots of fun this summer. It says, farmer's market for yummy fruit. Town square band plays drums and flute. How many of you went to the farmer's market this summer? Fun. Mini golf, bike and boat, fireflies, castle boats. Breakfast late, lazy days, all week long for all our play. Looks like fun. Did any of you ride your bikes this summer? Backyard picnic, family, friends. The fall is on its way again. It hasn't felt like fall outside yet, has it? It's been very hot. It says, Mama Llama points to the date. School starts soon and it won't wait. Summer's coming to a close. Time to shop for new school clothes. Hot, hot sun, long car ride. Do I have to go inside? How many of you went shopping this weekend for back to school clothes? Shoes, all the fun stuff. Did you have fun? Swallowed by pants, squeezed into shoes, this is the last thing Llama wants to do. Water bottle, new lunch box, backpack, sweater, shirt, and socks. Everybody got their backpacks ready and their lunch boxes, their water bottle. Mama spots another store. Llama wails, my hooves are sore. How many of you got sore feet shopping this weekend? Back at home, pants too long, mama hymns and hums a song. Make the lunch and healthy snacks, lay out clothes and a new backpack. Has everybody got their outfit picked out for the first day? Do you got your backpack ready? Tuck and kiss, thoughts so swirly, morning comes so bright and early. Now we gotta get up early, don't we? Go to bed a little earlier, get up a little earlier. Goodbye to mama, now school begins. Hello teacher, hello friends. Who's excited to meet their new teacher? Who's excited to see all their friends and make new friends? Crayons, paper, be on time. Don't push or shove, stand in line. Do not shout, raise your hand, welcome all, now here's the plan. Lunch and cubbies, coats on hooks, clay and paint, music and books. All the fun stuff we get to do while we're at school, right? Look over there, a new someone. He's not happy, not having fun. Come with us, don't be scared. Here, take mine, we can share. Is it fun to make new friends? I think it is. Choose some colors, get supplies. Sit next to me, dry your eyes. Yes, like this, hold and glue, way to go, it takes two. It's fun when you get to do it with a friend. Now we've all learned something new, llama friends and teacher too. 
looks like they had a good time. Llama Llama, back to school. Has that got you ready to go back to school? I sure hope so. Well, my next book's a little silly, but a little fun. It's called Book, Book, Book. And it's by Deborah Brush, and it's illustrated by Tiffany Beck. And it does talk about back to school. It says, down at the farm, all was well until wonder what's going to happen. The children went back to school and the animals had nothing to do. They had no rides to share, no tug of war to play, no one to scratch behind their ears or ruffle their feathers. Oh no. What do you think your animals do when you go back to school? Do they get bored? They miss us, don't they? In the bright morning sun, the horse hung his head. The cow complained and the goat grumbled, the pig pouted, and the duck dozed off, and the hen, she heaved, <coughs> excuse me, heaved a sigh. <coughs> excuse me. Long about noon, with the sun high above the barnyard, the hen squawked, I'm bored, and I'm heading to town to find something to do. The animals followed her down the road. Where are they going? Does anybody know? Look, clucked the hen, happy faces. This must be the place we're looking for. I'll go in and see if I can find something to do. Nay, nay, whined the horse. You're too small for such a big job. Leave it to me. Where are they at? The horse cluck clopped in. Politely he asked for something to do. But the librarian could not understand the horse. All she heard was nay, nay. So the horse hung his head and he clip clopped out. Has anyone ever seen a horse in the library? I know I haven't. Next the cow plodded in. Politely she asked for something to do. But the librarian could not understand the cow. All she heard was moo, moo. So the cow complained and she plodded out. Never seen a cow in the library either. Now it was the goat's turn and he trotted in. He politely asked for something to do. But the librarian could not understand the goat. All she heard was bah, bah. So the goat grumbled and he trotted out again. Any goats in the library? No. Slowly the pig ambled into the library. Politely she asked for something to do. But all the librarian heard was oink, oink. So the pig ambled out to tell her friends. Up flapped the hen and she announced, I am going in and no one is going to stop me. Into the library, she flapped. Any pigs? Any chickens in the library? Book, clucked the hen politely. The librarian looked around and said, what's that noise? Book, book, clucked the hen. The librarian scratched her head. Who's that? She asked. Book. Book, book, Cluck the hen quite clearly. Oh, is this what you want? Asked the librarian and she handed the hen three books. Is that what she wanted? Where are they going now? Back to the farm. Back at the farm, the horse, the cow, the goat, the pig, the duck, and the hen gathered round the books. The barnyard was filled with nays and moos and baths and oinks and quacks and book, book, book. There 
sound of delight lasted until sundown. Were they excited to get some books? You know what excites me to get some books? Does it excite you? All the animals were happy except for the bullfrog. And do you know what he said? Anybody know? You think that's what he said? Let's see what he said. I already read it. Read it, read it, read it. Told you it was cute and funny. And speaking of barnyard animals, my next one is about a barnyard animal. It's called The Peculiar Pig by Joy Steverwold. And look at those cute little piggies on the front. How many of you like piggies? Aw, I got two pet pigs, three really. They're the cutest little ginormous things ever. But they're funny. Let's learn about this peculiar, peculiar pig. There was a different sort of piglet in the pig pen one spring morning. Do you see it? What one looks different? Yeah. But Mama Pig didn't care. She loved her piglets all the same. To her, each one was special. Mamas think we're special, don't they? Because we are, aren't we? The other, other piglets were bigger and they were stronger and they often pushed this little piglet aside. But she was always willing to wait her turn. Does she look like a piglet? What's she look like? think? The day came when Mama Pig gave each piglet their name. She named them Freckles, so those little spots, Freckles, Pinky, Prudence, Patch, Scrappy, Rolly. Those are some cute names, aren't they? Cute little piglets. And my shiny little one, Penny. Is that a cute name for Penny? Penny's a cute looking little, what is she? Yeah. The piglets grew bigger every day and Penny grew. Oh, is Penny getting bigger? They're not quite so little, are they? Longer. She sure is peculiar looking, Scrappy, told Freckles. Penny didn't know why she was different, but Mama Pig told her, it doesn't matter, Penny. I love all my little piglets the same. Does she look different than them? As she grew, Penny started to sound different too. Arf, woof, woof. Penny, you have a funny oink, Freckles said. And it's so hard, complained. Oh, and it's so loud, complained Patch. Is that an oink? Is she making an oink? But Penny liked all the sounds she could make. She practiced her oinks, her growls, and barks with Mama Pig while her sisters and brothers played in the mud. Does it look like they're having fun in the mud? It does look like they're having a good time, doesn't it? All the piglets became good diggers. Prudence watched Penny and told her proper pigs use their snouts to dig. But my paws just work better, said Penny. Scrappy said, how peculiar. Well, it looks like Penny likes to play in the mud too, but she likes to use her paws and not her snout. Who likes to play in the mud? Looks like we're gonna have some mud out there when it quits raining. One day, the piglets were having fun racing around the farm. Wow, Penny, sure is quick, said Rolly, even with those short little legs, Pinky giggled. 
Does Penny look like she's going fast? She looks pretty fast, doesn't she? Then something stopped them in their tracks. It was a scary hissing creature. Oh no, what is it? Uh-huh. All of a sudden, a fearsome sound came from deep inside Penny. A grrr and a rough and a rough. Her sharp growl sent the creature slithering away. Did Penny save the day? Did she save them? Wow, said the piglets. Thank you, Penny. Then they tried to bark just like Penny. Grrrwink. Earth oink. Grrrwink. Do they sound funny? Penny laughed and said, now those are some peculiar growls. Then they all agreed that peculiar was perfect. Can you do your little winky growls like the piggies? Let me hear them. Oh, those are good. And everyone was glad there was a different sort of piglet in the family. How cute was that? Does anybody know what little dog Penny was? Was she a dachshund or a weenie dog? I have a weenie dog too. But his name's not Penny, it's Dexter. But he looks like that. Well, I hope you enjoyed story time today and I hope you have a great back to school day this week. And I hope you have fun making new friends and meeting your teachers and getting everything ready and come back and join us next week. Have a great week. Bye.